Right, these are my bikes in the garage. I've got a little Fiat 500. Got my Varadero there, which I use mainly. Uh, and then these are the other bikes I've got that I don't really use anymore. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got there's a track bike, an R6 one there, track bike. The Jixxer 750, that's only got 5,000 miles on it, never been refurbished. Still have the original tyres on it, which I've got upstairs. I've never used that, I just bought that for the hell of it. Um, R1, that's the car model 98. I bought that as an investment, I won't use that. Ducati 916, beautiful. I bought that just because it looks nice. Uh, again, a bit of an investment. This is the Fireblade, that's the bike I used to use all the time for the Varadero. And then a little CBR 400 for pottering around. Now the thing I'm finding is, every time I looked online regarding how to store your bike up, it always said for winter. Well, I don't want to store mine up for winter, I want to store these up long, long term. Uh, and what, what needed to be done. So obviously I did more research. Um, and what I found to do was, for example, it says here, look, fuel drain. What I do is get rid of all the fuel. I mean, my, my garage is heated all the time anyway, so damp's not really a problem, but I get rid of all the fuel. Take the tank off, drain every bit of fuel out, and then I've left this open, as you can see, just to get rid of any residual fuel what's in. And on your carburettors, the easiest one to see is on the Jixxer. On the carburettors, down at the bottom of the carb, there's a little screw and this, they're on carbs on all the bikes really, you can undo it and that will drain any fuel out of the carburettors. That's uh, sorted that out. Um, regarding chain and sprockets, I've given them a clean and a good soak up with the uh, chain lube. The tyres, they're not on them at the minute, but what I'm going to do is put, lift them up onto the paddock stands. Because I've got paddock stands for each of the bikes. Lift them up on the paddock stands just to protect the rubber on the tyres and on the front I shall jack the fronts up put them on some blocks of wood so the tyres are off the floor and I've also pumped the tyres up to about five five or six psi more than they would normally be just so it gives them a bit longer life in uh, when they're going because they will slowly go down sort of thing uh, if I want to start the bikes up all I do is I take the tank off I never put any more fuel in that tank I take the tank off this is the same and I run a separate, independent little fuel tank, only with like a litre of fuel in. Put that down onto the inlet for the car, onto the fuel pipe for the carbs, and start it up on new fuel. Then when I've done, I disconnect it and I'd run it until all the fuel just stopped running, till the engine stopped running, basically run out of fuel and release any what's left in the carbs. But I probably only do that once every six months. On this Ducati, because I swapped the belts on this, every few months I'll just flick it, turn it over just to turn the belt so they're not sat in one place. The batteries, I've took all the batteries off them. In fact, you can see here, I've got the batteries are all lined up here. Why is it FR on CB Ducati? Um, and again, with the batteries, don't leave them on all on an Optimate permanently. What I do is I've, I've lined these up, the, as you can see, the left to right to right to left. I've got all the positives down this side, all the negatives down this side. So every time I come in my garage, which is pretty much every day, but every, not every time I come in, but every three or four days when I come in, I'll lift them off this one, and I'll lift them off that one, and I'll stick them onto the next one. So basically, they just keep being topped up every four days. And then, why they're not topped, it gives them time, they will just drop down a little bit, put them back on, top them back up again. I have got covers for all these bikes, but I've pulled them all off just to show you what what I do now this 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 CBR 400 it's a nightmare to start if you leave it more than a week it's hell on earth so it's just one of them what I do is I put the battery on fully charged and it really needs a big charge of battery I put the battery on put fresh fuel and then I bought one of these little one of these little booster packs and I stick the booster pack on as well and that extra bit of a bit of oomph really does keep it going. So I hope that helps people. It's basically get rid of all the fuel. That's all I can say. Um, people say to drop all the oil out and put fresh oil in. I've not. I can't see you. Uh, can't see the point really. I'll get it up to temperature when I start using them again and drop the oil out and put it in then. Uh, another little tip is to write on a piece of paper and put 
on every bike exactly what you've done and then when you come to it next season you'll know what to what to do if you're somewhere where you get rodents and, and things like that another little good tip is on the back of these exhausts just put some cling film or put some a polythene bag put a polythene bag over the top wrap it around with some electrical tape and if you really wanted to go crazy when you've got your fuel tank off your inlets for your carburetors do the same on there but again write it on your piece of paper stick it in stick it under the cone so you know exactly what has been done and then you're keeping moisture from getting into your engine and uh, you should be fine but the main killer on storing bikes long term has got to be the fuel so hope that helps and uh, keep riding